Hey guys, what is up? Sloppy here, and we are playing some Madden 15, as you can probably see, which is very cool, very good game, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, I just wanted to do a little Sunday video because I love football and I missed it, and I just wanted to uh, play some football, you know, why not? So I thought Sunday would be the perfect day, right? Um, anyway, we're doing something pretty cool in this video, um, Madden community, you can uh, upload your own rosters if you want, and I found somebody who uploaded a roster that they updated on uh, Friday, March 20th, so all the free agent signings up to that point, which is just awesome, so I thought I'd play with the two teams that, you know, changed the most in my opinion, so I'm playing the Jets versus the Eagles. Um, Eagles, obviously, Sam Bradford's now quarterback, DeMarco Murray's running back. Um, Kiki Alonso's there, LaShawn McCoy's gone, it's just, uh, they just signed, um, what's his name out of Seattle, their little cornerback there, anyway, and then the Jets, obviously, Revis, Brendan Marshall, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and on down the list, Cromartie's back, so, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to play them against each other, I tried to keep the Jets play style kind of similar to what I think it'll be, and it kind of holds true, you know, uh, a team that uh, sort of is got two really good receivers on the outside, Decker and Marshall, but they're sort of held back by their quarterback play. Um, I play the first little bit with Fitzpatrick, who honestly, his throw accuracy is just off, and it's really difficult to play with him. Um, I mean, Ivory's a great running back, but, you know, if they expect to run every time, um, it's tough to, uh, tough to run. And then uh, I switched to Geno Smith for the second half of the video and uh, I actually think he was a bit better um maybe I had just you know gotten into it a little bit more by that point but I think he played a little bit better and I'm not sure who will be their quarterback this year so that's uh that'll be an interesting debate Geno Smith Ryan Fitzpatrick I imagine they'll start Smith and if he's not uh not performing they'll throw in Fitzpatrick and uh obviously it's pretty cool to be playing um against the Eagles this is kind of my first look at them with their new um everything really so yeah, uh, Murray kind of tore us up. Their offense is exactly what you'd expect it to be. It's um, powerful, running, uh, for sure. Murray's all over the place in this game. Bradford is a little bit, um, I think, overrated in this game. I mean, I haven't really seen much from him in the last few years. I don't really know who did. Did Chip Kelly sign him just so DeMarco Murray was signed with the Eagles? You know, maybe. I'm not saying anything, but that's a maybe. Um, so it was pretty cool to see them, though. Uh, yeah, Murray kind of tore us up at the start. Um, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, we got Revis and Cromarty on the outside, so I tried to stick to a defense that, I mean, you think they'd play man with, you know, Revis Island on one side, maybe a man on that side, and then a zone the rest. So I kind of stuck with, um, a man zone, man-to-man -man coverage most of the game. I blitzed a little bit at the beginning, but then I sort of stops because um i i don't know if they'll be a big blitz team i don't know you know rex ryan's gone so i don't really know what they're what they're gonna be like but i imagine man to man with those two guys on the outside and some pretty talented safeties i mean they have i think best secondary in the league people from seattle will probably debate it i mean i mean seattle's got a great secondary but i'm not sure who their second corner is going to be this year um i mean obviously when you got chancellor thomas and sherman you're, you got a strength there for sure, but anyway, um, yeah, so I tried to play man-to-man -man most of the game, and I think it um, went pretty well, but their offense is kind of what you'd expect, a lot of running, a lot of play action, short, quick passes, there's Revis with the huge hit, injures him, the only problem I have with this is, um, you know, Chip Kelly's offense, I'm not seeing a lot of, like, uber-talented receivers to throw to. Um, you know, obviously they got rid of Sean Jackson and then Macklin. And I'm really just not sure who who's their go-to now. I mean, they got Huff. They got uh, Matthews as a rookie last year. He's really, he's really talented, obviously. He might he might come through, but I'm, I'm really not sure. So that'll be, that'll be something to look forward to. But yeah, this uh, this Jets defense is quite talented. I mean, yeah, Wilkerson and Copels, Revis, Cromarty. This catch was something else. I mean, that's the Revis Island. That's probably the best catch you're gonna get against him. Riley Cooper diving to the outside. I don't. I don't personally think Bradford 
can make that play, uh, that throw. I mean, I he probably could have been college, but I think all of his confidence is gone now. Maybe Chip Kelly can get it back. He is kind of a guru when it comes to offense. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I challenged it because I, 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 was, I was questioning it. Revis is right there, obviously, covering. So, yeah, I tried to stick to the play styles I thought the Jets would play with. You know, a lot of man-to-man, -man, um, a lot of running the ball and short passes. Because I don't think they have a guy to throw it deep, even though they have two pretty good deep threats in Decker and Marshall. And I'm really expecting a lot of Jason Morrow this year, their tight end that they drafted. You know, uh, Eric Ebron in Detroit gets a lot of coverage. Jason Morrow was the other sort of uh, gem tight end of that draft. And uh, I'm expecting him to step up a lot this year. Last year, he didn't get a huge amount of playing time because he's a little bit uh, shifty as a blocker. They got that touchdown to Ertz. Good tight end, Ertz. Um, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Murray kind of tore us up that drive. Anyway, let's get back to the Jets' offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick it off. Kick it off. Let's speed this up here. Blah, 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 blah. I could have easily just edited it and speeded it up, but that was pretty quick anyway. I think it was the first time I've ever seen that in Madden. My guy is instinctively from the 10-yard line just didn't catch it. I didn't do anything. I didn't press any buttons or anything. He just didn't catch it, which I thought was so weird, but whatever. If that's how he wants to play it, that's how he wants to play it. So I, who am I to say anything, you know? Anyway, here we go. Um, yeah, power running. New York Jets, New York Jets football. Power running. Chris Ivory. He's a talented guy. You know, he's a good running back. They have a they have a good offensive line. It's not amazing. I mean, Mangold's pretty wild in the middle, but it's not an amazing offensive line. But it's uh, it's quite good. But yeah, it was a fun to uh, to play with these new rosters. Um, if you guys want to check out these new rosters, these updated rosters, the person who makes them, I forget his name, but he updates them like every week, every time something sort of happens, and you can actually message him. He's very open to it and be like, hey, you know, you're missing this guy from this team, and he'll change it uh, really fast. He's uh, really good at that. If you go to the uh, community section of Madden 15 and go to rosters, he is the top downloaded by quite a bit. Um, he even has the 15 draft class in it if you want to do kind of a, um, you know, uh, be a GM mode. So if you want to draft Mariota, Winston, all those guys. And he's pretty accurate with his draft ratings. I think Mariota, he has a bit high. I think he has Winston a bit high too. I don't think either one of them is going to be an all-star starter coming to the league. But hey, um, you know, anything can happen. And that's his ratings, so. Anyway, um, yeah, so Fitzpatrick, he's holding them back. He, uh, I mean, we've seen it at all of his stops. He is not a very competent, um, I mean, that was a bad throw by me, bad decision. He's not a very competent um, quarterback. So, yeah. I think after this play, I switch to Geno Smith, and then I think our offense gets going a little bit more. So that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I think I think the Jets' offense will surprise some people. I mean, their defense is going to be good, but they usually have a good defense. This year, it's really it's really their uh, quarterback holding them back. I mean, some people say, why don't uh, they draft a Mariota or Winston? They've got that uh, sixth overall pick, I believe. So that's a, that's an option. But I don't think either of those guys is a guy that come in and be your. Um, your savior right away. I think both of them are better options than Geno Smith or Fitzpatrick, but... Stumbling on your own people. Hate it when that happens. Yeah, now, now Smith's in the game. So, I mean, uh, Mariota, I think, would be a great fit. Winston might get a little lost in, in New York, but... Um, Mariota would be a good fit. I think they'd have to change their offense a bit, though. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Sometimes good good players make good plays, you know? Good players make good plays, and that's what just happened there. <laughs> um, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what the Jets uh, do at quarterback this season. Who knows? Maybe they'll make a trade and pick up somebody from someone else. Maybe they'll grab Foles from the Eagles. Or Barkley. I mean, apparently the Eagles are... Uh, 
the latest rumor is that they're trying to uh, trade Barkley so that they can sign Tim Tebow, who also apparently in other news is uh, he's been working out with Tom Brady's quarterback coach. Not quarterback coach of the New England Patriots, but Tom Brady trains with someone else in the offseason. And uh, Tebow's been working out with him. He's uh, kind of a quarterback guru. And uh, he came out and said Tebow actually has quite a nice throwing motion now. He went and worked out with the Eagles and shortly after this rumor about uh, trying to trade Barkley to sign Tebow came out. I mean, you can't put a huge amount of faith in it, especially with someone like Chip Kelly running the team because who knows what he's going to do. I mean, he might trade his entire offensive line for some unknown prospect out of Indiana or something. It's just the kind of guy he is. Unpredictable, which I think is awesome to have in football, really. You know, his offense is uh, really cool. It's fun to play with in Madden. I'm not using it here. Um, I'm using a custom playbook made by someone random. Uh, it's, it's an alright playbook. I'm not going to get into that. But, uh, I mean, Chip Kelly, he's good for football, you know? He's unpredictable. He's crazy. He's trying to revolutionize the game. Maybe a little bit too quickly. I don't think uh, his, his GM skills are up to par with his coach skills. But hey, who knows? Maybe uh, the Eagles will come out and surprise everybody. I mean, they sort of did in his first year. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Cowboys signed Hardy. People are pretty, pretty upset by that. A lot of teams passed on Hardy because of his uh, semi-conviction. The thing was, he was actually found guilty. Um, and then basically appealed the verdict and uh, the witness or well no not the witness the um, defendant the accuser the accuser I guess um, the woman who he I guess allegedly tried to strangle uh, disappeared which I mean isn't uh, altogether uncommon this power running game works well for the Jets but uh, yeah she uh, disappeared so he got off but he was found guilty so a lot of teams were kind of weary and uh, he's obviously got the suspension looming so we'll see what Goodell does and you know the Giants say they have no soul but uh, these swing passes I find they never quite work out well in Madden unless they throw like an all-out blitz or something crazy but yeah I mean people are upset at the Cowboys for that they let Murray walk even though he kind of carried them and I don't know. A lot of uh, a lot of problems with that team. A lot of problems. Anyway, uh, let's not talk about the Cowboys. <laughs> the Cowboys are something people will get weirdly sensitive about. Um, yeah, I think the Giants are gonna have a bounce back here. I think you know. I I, first, I just have a you know I, I want to cheer for them. I do. I think Eli's underrated. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. is obviously something special. There's Decker with a great catch. Just pushing off a little bit. A little bit, a little bit of a push off. Um, yeah. I think, I think you know, it'll be a good season in uh, New York. It's going to be a tough division, though. I mean, Dallas is obviously still competent. I don't think they're going to be as good as last year, but I think they're still good. The Eagles, who, who knows? Redskins... I mean, I don't think they'll be good at any stretch, but, you know, people surprise you. I don't know. Maybe RG3 will have a bounce back year. I mean, everyone's been hoping on it forever. And, uh, yeah. I don't think it'll, it'll, be, it'll be... It's always a fun division to watch. It's always something crazy. Yep, yep, yep. I'm interested to see how the Patriots are with, you know, losing two starting corners. Jacksonville should be a little bit improved. Year three of Gus Bradley. They should be improved. They got uh, Thomas out of Denver. Denver should be an interesting team too. I mean, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of variables. You know, will Peyton Manning be Peyton Manning, or will he be playoff Manning? A lot of uh, a lot of a lot of variables. It's kind of fun. So here, I uh, sort of pushed my last drive just so I could get um, a fast-paced option, just so I could see Chip Kelly's offense running a two-minute offense. Bradford. Uh, she does pretty well here. Our defense doesn't quite hold up. Um, we're running that man zone, which is great. Well, our defense does hold up. Usually, most people would play like a cover four or a prevent defense in this kind of position. So I went man zone. Because, I mean, how do you not trust Cromartie Rivas on the outside? 
A lot of guaranteed money there. A lot of money in general over there. So I thought, hey, put the game in their hands, and they came through, man. They really shut down those receivers. Very cool to see. Um, yeah. Anyway, that was just a miss. That was just a clear miss by Bradford. He's sort of running forward trying to throw it, though. Eh. Eh. Anyway, that's not really important. Um, so yeah, that's been a lot of football talk. Uh, we're sort of coming to the end of the video. I didn't play the second half. I just wanted to get a feel for these two teams. And um, I think the video's long enough. It's like 17 minutes almost. And I don't know if I could talk for 35. I could, I could talk for 35, but I didn't want to. Um, so yeah, it's a really fun game to play. Um, definitely go check out these rosters. Um, they are really fun to play with the new teams. I was playing with the Detroit a little bit and a couple of the other teams that have changed. Um, really fun, really fun. Miami's interesting to play with their D-line right now. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Also, I, I really want to get a Texans game in there. Ooh, Clowney, Watt, Wilfork in the middle. That'll be something. That'll be something. Nobody's running against them for sure. Anyway, uh, I'm kind of wrapping up this video now, so... Um, thanks for watching. This was sort of Sunday talk, I guess, because it's uh, football Sunday. So why not put <laughs> why not put out a video of football? Um, lots to talk about. Next Sunday, we'll probably play another game with different free agent teams, I think. That'll be really fun. Uh, probably the Texans now that I'm thinking about them. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoy and you want to see more uh, you know, Sunday football talk if you're into that. Um, comment what you guys think is happening with free agency. Anything that I said that you maybe agree with or don't agree with, leave a comment. And definitely um, subscribe for more because I, I think I want to do this every Sunday. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Anyway, guys, um, ciao.